Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop here. This one is an HP 15 laptop and if you want to know the exact model for this one is right at the back sticker at the bottom of the laptop. And if you read it correctly or right at the bottom it will say 15-F023WM. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to replace your thermal paste, how to clean it up and do your own service. So before we get started, you're going to need a few tools. So let's go over the tool. You will need a workshop towel. I'll leave the link for all this product that I use in a video description. So workshop towel, you need a 100% alcohol, which is an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 95 upward. Not that anything lower than that, it will not work. Also, you need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best bits out there. And these are the S2 class steel bits. That means they will last you a longer period. So grab the Phillips number one from this screwdriver set for now. And if you want to get the pro version of this tool set, I'll leave the link in the description because we need an opening tool. The opening tool, it comes in a pro version. Or if you don't want to get the pro version, just grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is perfectly fine and suitable to opening electronics or cases. So guitar pick, screwdriver, towel this, and you will need a tweezer. So grab any tweezers. So I have two in case. Obviously, you need a thermal paste. I'm going to be using Arctic MX4. But if you want to go a little higher brand, and one of the top brands would be the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. These are one of the top brand, but for a consumer and actually really good one, it's an MX4. So we got the thermal paste, we got that, everything ready to go. And all we need to do is to power off the laptop, flip it upside down, and first thing first, we want to remove the battery. Put it on unlock position, pull the trigger, hold the trigger, slide the battery backward. Now, first we, let's remove the cover for the RAM by removing two screws. Remember these screws, they have a seal lock on them. They will not come out. You just have to loose them up and lift up the cover. So put this cover to one side. The reason is because there's a hidden screws right under the cover. Now we're going to start removing all the screws from this side, from the bottom case, everywhere. We're going to start removing all the screws. Go ahead and start removing the screws. Also, I realized there is only 1% of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. If you find my content helpful and uh, helping you guys out, I really appreciate it if you guys click that like button and think about subscribing. It really, really helps out and motivates me to make more videos for you guys. I really appreciate it. Remember, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Once we remove all the screws on the bottom cover, even the three screws hidden in here, we need to remove the Wi-Fi cable, Wi-Fi board. So remove one screw that holds the Wi-Fi board. This one is a short screw. And lift up the Wi-Fi board and slide out in 45 degree. Disconnect the jack from the board just by pulling it apart. What we need to be done is to remove the, uh, the RAM, leave it there. Remove the DVD drive just by pulling it to one side. But there's a hidden screw, there are three screws right under the DVD drive. We need to remove these three screws. And these screws are Phillips number double zero. So switch your bit to double zero. Once we remove that, we need to double check, make sure we remove all the screws, everything. Now we're going to put it back in a normal position and we're going to open the laptop. We're going to remove the keyboard by using the, the pick right on the top of the laptop. We're just going to twist it, twist, twist, and then pull it up, slide it out, just like that. Now we're going to use our fingernails and we're going to pull this black cover upward a little bit, just and so it becomes loose, just like that. And now we can slide out the keyboard. Put the keyboard to one side. The same thing with the touchpad right here. Lift up this cover right here, upward, and use your tweezers. 
to not bend the flex I would just pull these cables back so you guys can see the way I lift up these covers just lift them up so if it's locked down lift them up and then pull out the flex cable all right once we got that in we're gonna start removing the screws on here so remove all the screws down here these are short screws I believe okay we got about four or five screws down here that we had to remove once you remove the screws down here we're going to use our guitar pick we're going to stick it on the front end of the laptop and we're just going to twist it to the sides twist 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 go all the way to the back twist it too All right, we got everything here. We need to go on the bottom, make sure we didn't miss any screw. All right, so we didn't miss any screw down here. Double check, there's no missing screws. So we're gonna come back up here. Now we're gonna lift up the top cover and we're just gonna pull it up a little bit. Pull this up, don't be scared. Once you remove all the screw, just lift it up. Then you wiggle it around and it should come loose. So there's a palm rest, put the palm rest to one side, the whole motherboard is here, the hard drive is right down here, to remove the ribbon cable for this audio jack through here, to lift up this cable right here, jack, pull out the DVD-ROM jack, disconnect the headphones, I mean the speakers, just by pulling the jack backward. What else we have here? The LCD ribbon cable, just lift up this flippy thing upward towards the ceiling, just pull it up, pull the motherboard down from with one finger and then it's really hard so if you can't do it, use the tweezer to put it right underneath the jack and just do a little support on the corners and it will just come out. But usually you're supposed to be able to by pulling this thing up but if it's really tough just help it out remove the webcam cable right here we will need to remove the ram so pull these two triggers apart the ram will come out in 45 degree angle put it to one side because this plastic thing won't let you lift it up now down here we need to remove a whole bunch of screws one right here one right by the speaker one right by the hard drive this side SD card reader and remove the one by the jack remove the bracket that holds the power jack in there so there's two screws that holds it and remove the bracket put it right beside it so that way you can just remove the jack easily now we're going to lift up the motherboard from one side bring it over there's a hard drive cable that is right underneath here. So bring it up, flip it over. The hard drive jack right here, just snap it off. Now you got the whole bottom case and you have the whole motherboard on your hand. This one is pretty clean, but I'm gonna show you guys how to repaste. So close up the lid, bring the board on top. This is the BIOS battery. If you wanna reset the BIOS, just remove this battery for 30 seconds. And you're done to remove the fan you need to remove one two screws first you have to remove the fan before you remove the motherboard the heatsink so remove two screws and the fan should come out pretty easy and detach the fan from the jack just pull it up you can go ahead and clean up this fan with a toothbrush with an old toothbrush for the heatsink there's a four screws loosen up the four screws the screws will not come out, they have a seal lock on them, so just loose them up and then just lift up the heatsink. And there we have it. So what you need to do at this point is to grab your towel. I have a little old piece here. We're gonna use an alcohol. We're gonna rub the heatsink first. Remove all the excess from here. 
and I don't like the fact that they don't have a copper touching it here so is another type of metal then going to the copper the heat transfer is not too great here uh, this is a Celeron CPU so it's not a big deal you don't need to clean up everything as long as you clean up the die so the crystal die on the CPU go ahead and clean it up once it's cleaned all you need to do is to place your new thermal paste one tiny drop on the CPU die in the middle just like that grab the heat sink bring it over align it on top put it down and don't lift it up again if you lift it up again you have to repaste put the screws cross each other so do one there one here and then cross it stitch them so that way the paste will go evenly uh, spread around grab the fan put the fan on top first thing first connect the fan down and then put the two screws for the fan there we go now we have this one in place here we're gonna open up the laptop again and now what we're gonna do we're gonna grab it first in this position plug in the hard drive connector down first then slide it down bring it over make sure the cables are not in the way all the cables are on top bring it over slide down the hdmi port down first make sure everything is snuggly right there and then bring it down you start connecting the cable the audio first the dvd rom make sure it goes all the way in and then lock it down there we go now we're gonna align the power jack sit down flash right there put the bracket put the screw for the bracket now we can first slide down the webcam cable right there on the inside the jack there we go now you can just push down the lcd cable right on top now we're going to start putting up down the screws that we removed from the motherboard one right here by the sd card reader one by the right in the corner and the other one is by the battery contact right there well right, once we got all this in double check the contacts make sure everything is in place no cables are being pinched and next step would be grab the palm rest bring it over align it nicely now you're going to pinch the top and the bottom cover just pinch them go all around go ahead and put the screws on the top side inside under the uh, keyboard all right next we need to put this power on switch you lift up the jack slide the ribbon cable right underneath and then lock it in, lock it in place same thing with the touchpad or trackpad you slide it right underneath and then lock it in place and the next step grab the keyboard bring it down in this position flip it over grab the con the flex cable bring it open the lock slide the cable right underneath and then lock it down push it down and then you should be all set make sure you put the bottom end of the keyboard all the way in, inside the palm rest bring it over and squeeze the corners make sure you those tiny clicks with two fingers with three fingers just push them down make sure you those clicks nothing in the middle just on the top row on the corners once you finish with those close the laptop flip it upside down and we are almost done 
grab the RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM, align it, push it in 45 degree towards the motherboard. Grab the Wi-Fi, connect the Wi-Fi cable right there, bring it in 45 degree and towards the motherboard. And put a tiny screw that holds it in place. All right, next put the screws, uh, the flat screws under the DVD drive. So put the DVD drive screws right there. All right, grab the DVD drive. Slide it right in there, make sure it goes all the way in. Now the last step is to put all the screws at the bottom cover. So grab it and just start screwing it all of the remember the screws the three screws under the cover and that should be all and the last screw right there all right and the last thing is to grab the bottom cover service cover align it right there push it down and put the screw right on top. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys to do your own service cleaning. And if it did, please think about clicking that like button and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And as I always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.